Texas. Critics of California's stay at home orders say the restrictions don't always seem based on science and one MIT professor says they may be right. He's part of a team that's created a tool to calculate the risk of different environments. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on what the research reveals. Right now, 72% of the students in San Diego County are learning from home. Just 6% are on campus full time. And those numbers don't make a lot of sense to MIT professor Martin Bazant. And if you run the numbers for a typical classroom, especially if, if the students and the teachers are wearing masks, essentially those people could spend a week in the classroom and not have a problem. He's part of a team that created the COVID-19 Indoor Safety Guideline. It's a free online tool where you can pick an enclosed space, like a classroom or an airplane, and see how many people could be safely inside for how long, assuming someone is infected. If you have more people in the room, there's more chance of transmission, so the time needs to be more limited. As there are fewer people in the room, that time can be extended. The app is based on complicated physics, and it gets pretty detailed. You can control the size of the room, how loudly people are speaking, whether or not they're wearing masks, even the types of ventilation and filtration systems. But Bazant says his calculations broadly show the six foot rule is not the most important metric. Just think of cigarette smoke. When somebody's smoking a cigarette, of course, if you stand directly in their breath, you experience uh, you know, higher uh, concentration of smoke but you also quickly smell the smoke and see the smoke all around them, and clearly anyone can breathe it in. The airborne spread of a viral disease like this is very similar to that. He says research on indoor super spreader events shows the distance from an infected person doesn't play a role. You can still be at risk much farther away. It's more about the occupancy in the room, the time people are there, and whether or not they're wearing masks. He says the six foot rule can actually provide a false sense of security. If you place nursing home beds six feet apart in a shared room, like they're absolutely not safe. But in a well-ventilated classroom with students and teachers in masks, he says the math is different. He's hoping regulators take the time to crunch the numbers. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. The researchers do say that human behavior matters a lot. If people are not wearing masks, the save time in a space can drop from hours to just a few minutes. You can see the tool right now on 10news.com.